Hey, it's Keith here in Life Journey Production Studios, and we're going to take a look today, an overview of the nice photo parabolic softbox with the Bowens mount, and it's available in 47, 35, and 27 inches, and this is the 35 we're going to take a look at. It's easy to set up, and it may just be the best value out there for your studio, with the exception we need to add a gallon Ziploc bag, and we'll talk about why right after this. So I took my tape measure to see if it really was 35 and I went from far corner to far corner and it's right at 35 inches. There you can see the mark right there. And uh, so it is a 35 inch parabolic softbox. The other thing I want to point out is if you're going to put in um, the grid, then you want to make sure that you line up this um, diffusion, the outside diffusion with the lower part of the Velcro all the way around so that and I left it high in some spots so that when you go to put the grid in, just toss it in. I usually start at the top and work my way down um, because it's just easier to work with. Um, gravity then, then is on your favor. And I usually try to space it out um, and get it in position and then finish Velcroing it as I go around. And that's how fast you can put the grid in and I'm going to be hanging this back up in my studio so I just go around and make sure I don't have any light leaks because the reason for the grid is to keep that light very directional so there you have the grids in I've got a little touch-ups to do around the corners but I want you to see how quickly that grid can go in and the idea is that grid you can see the light doesn't spread any further than that and if the grid wasn't in you would still see white but that's how a grid works, so it helps me control the light and it lets me put it in the direction I want to, so. I always feel like I'm tearing something. So again, it comes with a grid and these are pretty easy just to fold back up the way they came out of the bag and um, just tuck those away in the bag. Then you have two soft diffusers take a look inside with it all together there you go so we're going to take this one off and it just simply velcros on again this folds up as well and goes back in the bag and it's a decent material it's kind of crinkly sounding um, but that to me means it's going to be a little bit more um, long lasting and these this inside snaps in. It also has this area that takes care of the hot spot, which I think is very important. And this just snaps on. And there is that. Now you can take a look at the softbox inside and these rings, just these rods just snap in and out in place. So we're gonna do that now. And so now these just Velcro, these sections Velcro together. And now all you do is you push these buttons, pull these rods, release each one of these buttons and this thing's gonna go down this simple one button at a time now I leave these set up all the time in my studio so since I put them together I haven't put it down but I watched enough demos and um, opened and closed them a couple times when I got it so there they go they're all closed so I could stick this in the nice bag it comes with 
This is not going to be a long review. I'll share my thoughts here in a minute, but you have this nice bag. Um, and these are little plastic containers for the two um, diffusers. So we'll just tuck this down in the bag. And it's got this zipper on the side so you could drop it in and then zip this side up like this. And so I could also slide it in and out like this and this is the way I put it in. And obviously I'd put those two diffusers back in the bag, close this up and that quickly I could pull these down from my studio if I needed to use my softbox as someplace else and I'm ready to go. So that's the, the nice um, photo, 35 inch softbox. So again, you can just put the these back in the bags and you can see the fold lines. So it's pretty simple. I'll do it right here on camera to show you. It's pretty simple to find those fold lines and then just simply tuck this back inside the bag. And I usually replace these with a nice bigger Ziploc bag because they'll just endure a little bit longer. And then you have this piece of well as well. And again, you can pretty well see the big phone phone or fold lines. I just simply fold this up take the air out of it and put it in the same bag with um, my Ziploc bag and um, I'm ready to go. So we take these, obviously, tuck them right inside. And you're ready to go. You have your soft box, you're ready to rock and roll and um, it diffuses light and obviously what you do is you take a bright light surface like my UL 150s by Godox and you spread it out through the soft box, you put it through diffusion and the more diffusion and the wider the light, the softer it wraps your face. And I have one right now with my other nice photo 35 inch soft box parabolic up here and that is providing nice, nice soft light. And normally I have one on the other side, but right now I'm using my um, my 50 RSs by Great Video Maker GVM, and um, they're providing a little bit of fill light right here, and a little bit of fill light right here, and a little bit um, of hair light because they're up and high, and you can see that right here um, on the back of my hair part that there's a little bit of light there, and that's coming from those lights, and you can also see the reflection right here um, because I'm hot from taking this down. So again, I have two of these. I highly recommend the nice photos. They're not super expensive. They're just as competitive as the other lights that are out there. And I think if you invest in these, you'll be very happy. Obviously, it's your choice, your decision. You can see the quality. Here's some close-ups of some of the nuts and bolts as we roll out. And I, Keith, here at Life Journey Production Studio, and I'll see you in the next video.